one. Yeah. Robin. Let's see if I'm I can't correct. even remember the last time I haven't gamed one on Smashville. You can see Scorpio wearing his new glasses. He can see. Three, two, yes. one, go. <laughs> He's hoping they'll help him yeah. focus. The the Johns are gone now. He can see. Yeah. I can't focus on the screen. <laughs> Ooh. Rolling four down tilts. What's the conversion? We'll just down tilt three times. I, do not, I don't think I'm those down gone. tilts were true at all. Scorpio <laughs> definitely could have stupid. shielded it up yeah. or something. Oh, oh my God. Those ones were. Yeah. That one was real. The other one was just. This is kind of how it always goes. Nameless, I think, as a player, just kind of has trouble killing. <laughs> like, he'll go for reads, but, like, they're not, like, they're not, like, it's not like he's, like, conditioning somebody super hard and yeah. going for a read. It's more I like, I'm going to throw this one out. It's more like, I feel like Nameless kind of more throws, like, his reads out instead of, like, conditioning his opponent to, like, fall into them. Mm -hmm. So he can have trouble killing sometimes. And he kind of does it like, this will cover this option, and just kind of goes instead of like, I know that he's going to go for yeah, this Yeah, it's option. like he's guessing. I think guessing and reading are like two different things. Yeah. Scorpio is a really player who's really good at surviving. Ooh. You're going to ask anybody. He is. Once he gets that high percent, he becomes super hard to hit. He becomes super clutch. He always makes really smart decisions in high pressure situations at high percent. Ooh. For the most part. You know, so, but sometimes you get down tilted. Yeah, Diddy Kong. you know, there was that crouching. Uh, Diddy Kong can crouch under all of the thunders, from my knowledge. And crouching is a really good tool against Robin. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. So we just have to hit him a few more times, then he's in that juicy down throw percent. Might even be in it now if he air dodges. Down throw, and you walk forward, you charge forward, so. <laughs> boop. Oh. Oh. What was that? <laughs> it was something. It was something. He can Ooh. just not establish stage control. I am not going to say he's out of this, though. Cause <laughs> I he won't makes either. comebacks like this all the time against Nameless, but sometimes you get down yeah. tilted. <laughs> sometimes you get down tilted for both of your stocks. Diddy Kong's down tilt. I think this is quarters. So this Let's is only a best of three. Let's have a move that, you know, comes out quick. Links into everything. I think it's like frame <laughs> four. Dumb. It's pretty good. It's like as fast as some characters' jabs. Yeah, some characters have a bad jab. I feel like two is like the standard jab for a lot of, at least the higher tier characters. Yeah, for the higher tier yeah. characters. I think the majority of the characters will have like a frame three jab or something. Yeah. Ooh. Clean 27%. Ooh. Clap, clap. Ooh, nice. Scorpio was kind of waiting more this game. Yeah. The other game he was just he was like throwing out like a lot of forwarders, and this one, I'm seeing him just kind of stand there a lot and wait for Nameless to do something. I hate it when I see players lose a game and then they just go into the next game with the like the exact same game plan and the exact same strategy and the exact same stuff. Mm -hmm. But Scorpio here, he really um, changed up his game plan. And last game he didn't have any stage control at all, but this <laughs> time it's just it's been him and him center stage the whole time. Oh, we got the shield too. I feel like that was definitely an accidental forward tilt. Yeah. I don't know how you get forward tilt out of dash grab, but I think that's what he got. Yeah, 
You almost got that get up with the alternator. Yeah, I want more to say, but it's just kind of like, you know, the footsie waiting mm -hmm. for... <coughs> but now Scorpio at the ledge. Yeah, Scorpio's just looking for a confirmer, a kill, a read, and... Ooh, what? Ooh. Wow. I'm very surprised that killed. That should be... Oh, the accidental forward tilt. Yeah. Maybe that was him... You know, with his smash dick instincts, he's trying to do. Forward yeah, smash. tried to forward smash. That makes that would make sense. I mean, he's been playing silk stick for like only like maybe maybe two months. <laughs> but not even. It's more like a more like a month. But yeah, you know, the muscle memory. Like when you get to a point where you've done something one way for so long, and then in your head he was like, "This is the situation. I want to do this," and his fingers did it the way he used to know. You know, like, muscle memory is a funny thing. Right now you think it'd be really easy for Robin to kill, but I've learned from fighting Robin a whole lot that if you're at a high percent like this, you really just want to stay grounded, like, the entire time. And yeah. if you have, like, a crouch or a crouch walk, do that. Because I mean, at this point, he's got to get something raw to kill, doesn't he? There's yeah. no, like... And as long as Nameless does not jump at him, mm -hmm. Robin will have a hard time killing him. See, and you're seeing Sammy do that. Sammy's actually really good at this matchup. He's barely jumped. Ooh. Got out of that jab. Ooh, jeez. What started out as just a solid lead has turned into like a oh, there you go. Stop. Oh boy, Here that'll kill. <laughs> <laughs> Threw the book at him for good yeah. measure. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, takes back some of that percent. I like it. Ooh. Ooh. This is Scorpio's favorite way to make the comeback. Just keep on no sprocking in them. It's good too, because it gets you know, gets in your opponent's head. Nobody likes getting caught by something like no yeah. too. Huh. I think I think Nameless should have thrown him off stage there. Right? He could have gotten a lot more from that. Right. That, that, was not, that was not up throw 50-50%. If he had thrown him off stage, he could have just, you know, kept... He's DD playing. He could have kept him on the ledge for, like, a while. Forced him into a bad option and then killed him. Uh-oh. I think that back there would have killed, yeah. honestly. It might have. The rage pretty far off the side there, or close to the side. Um, Woo! It's probably been enough time to get his books back now. The uh, fire book. He's gonna grab him. <laughs> oh, oh, he read that roll. He did. He knew it. He just overshot it by the tiniest little space. Oh no, that was an accident. He tried to pick up the banana, then he accidentally jabbed it, and <laughs> he accidentally forward smashed. Oh, and that'll do it. Yeah. yeah. How did that game even slip out of it? He was doing real well yeah. at the beginning. How did it, it slip out of it? Got hit hands? by the sword. From, you know. Was that this game? Yeah. That, that was, was a long game. That was long. Like, because he had the lead. <laughs> he, he was at, I want to say it's 60 or 70%. And Nameless is at like 120 or 30. And, and he just chucks a sword at him. Yeah. So I think that means we're going to see a Yeti versus Nameless winner's semis. Okay. So that's that side of top eight. I'm on the other side. And now, the one and, let me think, 